everyone, it's Tammy, and I guess I need to ask you guys if you would prefer that I have a solid piece of paper underneath here instead of this calendar, because I know that I've used this calendar for several, several videos, and I could put like a clear or a white piece of paper underneath, and maybe that is a little nicer. If you guys have a preference or if you care one way or the other, if you could let me know, that might be nice. I'm not going to say I will remember every time, but I will try. And I thought I would do a card using this cute aviary, aviary set from Stampin' Up. This is a two-stamp Stampin' Set, and uh, I got this one in... I think they call this the Klingon ones. And I kept this because I, there was a time that I was thinking I was going to remove all of my wooden stamps and put them on regular like foam like these. But I have since kind of decided not to just because it would be so much work. And I don't know, I am still not exactly sure if I'm going to do that someday, but today is not the day. So I've just been saving this just because I didn't want to throw it out in case I need it for something because you know as you know I'm kind of frugal I'm going to do a cute card without a sentiment I love this owl this is part of the reason why I even got this set because I just love him I guess I could do him in this little cage oh no he's too big for that little cage I don't know I just thought that this would be cute and I am going to I'll put this here um, I'm going to go through all of the measurements and then we'll get the card going. I actually went ahead and cut everything first so that I'd have it all ready for you guys. And I thought that it would be cute to make this kind of hanging with this baker's twine. And I went ahead and tied a bow that I can use to put here. And then I'll use some more of it to put it onto the card itself. And I left these long because I wasn't sure how long we'd need them. So I thought, well, I'll just go long and we'll go from there. So this is going to be a regular A2 sized card, which is, um, oh, sorry, I'm messing with the camera thing, the tripod thing. I'm still having a little bit of an issue with it, but I'm getting there. And I, sometimes I just worry that it's moving, but I think it's okay. Um, Okay, so this is a regular A2 size card. So this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half. Then you fold it in half so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I thought that we would put a piece along the bottom. And so I cut this at four and a quarter by three. And I wrote all the measurements on the bottom so I would know. And I cut this one at four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So I just went a quarter of an inch smaller so that it would go on top. And then I did the same thing with these. And all of these were cut using all of this pink pattern. As you can see, it's double sided. And it's all from the one 12 by 12 sheet. And actually I have a ton of it left. So I could do this multiple times. But So this is all from one 12 by 12 sheet. I guess I should have said that earlier. And then this one is cut at two by three and a half. And I'm going to put this about here. And then I have this one that is cut at one and three quarters by three and a quarter, which will go on top of that. And then this one is at one and a half by three. So it will go on top of here with our image on it. And then I did the same thing with this, which is two and three quarters by one and two and a half by three quarters. And then finally, one half by, what is it? One half by two and a quarter. So this will go on top of here. So each size is just, just smaller by a quarter of an inch on each side. And then I will have this little thing here, the little bird cage with this and then I'll have a string holding the birdcage down to the card. So I thought this was kind of cute. And I'm kind of scrap lifting this from something that I saw on Pinterest. And I just kind of liked the idea. And I don't know if that's ink or what that is. Pencil mark, maybe? Okay. So uh, that is a lot of scrapbooking or card making. You just get ideas and get inspired from other people. And that is A-OK. -okay. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tape this stuff down using my handy dandy ATG and you can use any color cardstock you have you don't have to use the double-sided I sometimes really like the double-sided 
because it makes sure that it matches. I mean, if you're using double-sided, you know that each side is going to match the other side. And I kind of like that sometimes. Sometimes it just makes it easy so you don't have to think too hard about what would go with what. So again, that's four and a quarter by three. And this one's four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And this does have printing on it, so I'm just making sure that it's not upside down. I can't really read the printing. I see a couple words. What worth in you? I don't know what this says. Um, it's very small and faint print. So I'm just putting this on top. And I wanted it to go on the edge of each side so I didn't cut the width any shorter. I left it four and a quarter so it's the same length as the card. And then this again is two by three and a half. I do not know if these dimensions will be in the blog post because it will have to be me remembering what they were because honestly I just kind of came up with it on a whim to see what would look best based on the card idea I had. And I almost wish I would have, I'm going to go ahead and do this side because when I cut with my cutter sometimes it leaves a more raw edge on one end than the other end and I want the less raw edge on this side and you can still see some of the raw try to get that off now I'm hoping that this will cover this if not I will erase it oh but it covers it nicely so that's one and three quarters by three and a quarter this is one and a half by three see how you just go in a quarter of an inch for each layer And I'm going to start on this edge just to make sure that I cover up what I had written. And this is where I'm going to put my image. And I think that it's safe for me to go ahead and put this down before I put my image down because I want to make sure that I don't cover up where this is going to be. So I might just put this one and I may just, you know what, I think I'll just lay it here like this so that I can get my ink, my stamp inked up and inked prior to me moving it. Okay, so here we go. I'm just sticking this on. And sometimes these don't seem to stick as well as other times, so I don't know if there's a secret that I don't know about or what, but... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this down where I want it. I don't know who showed me this trick, but I really like it. I'm going to take my block and I'm going to kind of eyeball it so it feels like it's at the top and at the side measuring where that white piece is so that I know that if I put this back where I stamp it, the white in the corner like this, then I have it about where I want the stamp. So I think that's a really cool trick. Oh, and first I should do the bird. So now I need to figure out where I want the bird. And let's hope that the bird is even with that because I'd really like for this bird to be sitting on this little whatever it's called the little perch inside here so I'm going to I need to move that down some don't I and if I even it up with the that corner and this and that that's about where the bird is so I'm going to straighten the bird up and I'm going to stamp him on this side and I'm going to do the same thing even and even and it's hard when you're not like right on top of it but I'm going to make my bird pink are there pink birds but that's because I'm doing the whole thing in pink so there's gonna be a pink bird I don't know if there are pink birds or not oh that's red here I go searching for my ink again. And the only one I have handy is this distressed ink. And I know that my friend is going to tell me that you can't put distressed ink. You're not supposed to stamp with it. But it looks like the stamp might be a little bit dirty. So I'm going to clean this really quickly because I don't want it to be doity. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to match this up with this side and that side. And that does not look good at all, does it? Okay, well you know what I'm going to do. I am going to, and that's because I use Distressed Ink, I'm sure, and she'll say, I told you so, Tammy. I'm taking a pink pen. And let me see the example of the bird. And I'm just going to kind of draw him in. Tracing around what I see here and what I think it should be based on the picture in the book or in the on the package. There we go. So there's our cute little birdie. And he's pink just the way I wanted him. So now I'm going to take my memento ink in black. I'll take this bird off so I won't mess it up and I need to clean that too. And I'm going to stamp this in memento. Look here, Misty, it's not distress ink. <laughs> I promise I will get my ink out one day, sorted and all put away. Now I'm going to put it even with both ends again. And I'm hoping and hoping and hoping that this makes the bird on the perch. And it does not. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's not horrible. The bird is in the cage and it's cute. So I'm okay with it. Maybe I, I should have made his little legs a little longer is what I should have done. There, I made his leg a little longer. I don't know if you can really tell, but that's cute. It's all right. So I'm going to clean this off and I'm using my Stampin' Scrub that I got from Stampin' Up! 100 years ago. Clean off that one and clean off the bird one. Sometimes they don't stick very well, but. And I have Stampin' Cleaner on this, but I, um, have already used it so I didn't need to re-stamp and cleaner it up. Alrighty. So now I'm going to tape this down about here. So this is two, excuse me, two and three quarters inch by one inch. And ideally I guess I would have put this whole thing down just a little bit, but you know what, I'm not going to complain. It's fine. And I, hmm, I haven't put this on yet, which would have kind of been cute if I put it underneath there. We'll figure it out. I might not even have to put it there because of the bow. And this is two and a half by three and a quarter. I'm talking to myself. I saw we. Let's get that little fuzz off. And then finally, we have one that's two and a quarter by one half. And I would write like thank you here or happy birthday or happy bird day because <laughs> I like the puns and then my kids can yell at me and tell me that I'm being silly. They're like mom. I don't think I'm going to even put this there. I just think I'll have that as extra. I'll just put this here at the top. And we'll figure out how long we want these little boogers. So I'm going to use the glue dot. And I'm just taking my little baker's twine, sticking it on my glue dot, and then popping my glue dot up. I'm sticking this on here, just like so. And we will cut these obnoxious little thingies about there I think that looks good there we go 
There we go. That's cute. Okay, so now I am going to sparkle up my little bird because I think the birdie needs some sparkle so that he will tweet. So I'm just using my Wink of Stella because I love, love, love my Wink of Stella. I'm even getting his little feet because why not? All right, and then I think I will put some little rhinestones Maybe the little bitty ones. I know I have a package of little baby ones if I can find them. Oh, and I have pearls. I could use pearls. I think I might use pearls. I haven't even used very many of these. So let's use some pearls, shall we? That's cute. One, two, three, four, five, six is how many I need. Three, four, oops, I got two in that one. Did not mean to. These are sometimes hard to separate. Five. And I have one on my fingernail. And it has sticky stuff on the side, so I'm gonna cut that off. Or I can just put it in there, I guess. All right, if that's the way you wanna play, we'll play with that way. I won't fight with you. It's all good. Oh, I like that. That one has a little sticky stuff sticking off too. I'm trying to hide it, but it doesn't want to hide like the other one did. So there's six of those bad boys and maybe I'll put a couple on each side of this and I'll use these bigger ones. Well, or I'll just put it down here, because that looks good, right? <laughs> Come on, you silly goose. Oh. <laughs> I'm fighting with the pearl, and the pearl seems to be winning. I could use those little dot things, too, that my friend Misty gave to me, but from Stampin' Up, I don't know what they're called. Ax perfect accents or something. Okay, there's a little piece of the sticker sticking up again. Alright. I'm just trying to even it out. That's cute, if I say so myself. Of course, it wasn't totally my idea because I did scrap lift most of the design. But that's cute. I like the way it turned out. Oh, and I hate that when I when I do this and I can't turn it. So I'm going to glue this down a little bit more. It's just because, you know, if you don't get glue all the way to the edge, sometimes it does that. And I'm just OCD enough that it bugs me. All right, that is cute, cute. Now I wish I knew what to put here because I would go ahead and write it since I have the same color pink maybe I should just write happy anniversary or happy birthday or thinking of you something small I think like happy birthday might work maybe I'll put happy bird day I know that's dumb but I don't really care because I'm kind of silly like that Happy. 
Happy birthday. Oop, and I just wrote on myself. Well, that's cute. All right, I think I like it. So, happy birthday. <laughs> I hope that you guys could see this the whole time. I'm not even sure. It's this, I'm telling you, this setup is not the best. I need to get to working on a better tripod setup. But other than that, I'm loving the way that it does video because I do like that it's like on top of it as opposed to behind me or beside me or whatever. I think that this is a better setup for you all. It's just annoying to me sometimes because I can't really see it. It's just a bizarre setup. I have to use some tape on it sometimes to get the camera to hold and it's just not the best thing. But I want to give it the best quality I can give for you guys because this is really fun and I enjoy doing it and I think that you guys are liking them. And if so, please give me a thumbs up and tell me you like it. And if you have something nice to say, please let me know in the comments below. And you can find me on my blog, which is ttscraps at blogs or dot blogspot dot com. And Facebook is ttscraps and tt.scraps. And Obviously, my YouTube channel is also tt.scraps. So thanks so much, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Happy birthday.